Hey guys, Ultra Maximus here. Like my videos? Please consider buying me a coffee. Thank you so much for the support. It helps me continue making content that you enjoy. Oh hey, what is that there, sir? That's a real piece of sh**. Misa no think so with that bomb bad Junko Moto betcha betcha, and that's no stink of it. Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're going to take a look at another Studio Series Transformer figure. This time it's the Core Class Transformers Bumblebee Ravage figure. So we saw Ravage at the beginning of the movie on Cybertron. He got ejected out of Soundwave, which was an amazing scene. I absolutely loved it, and this figure complements the Soundwave figure that I have recently reviewed, and I cannot wait to see what this figure is like and how well he goes with Soundwave. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Ravage in the packaging, and it's very interesting. It's so tiny, little core package. It is an open face box, which I don't particularly care for. That could damage the figure. You could steal things out of it. Um, we get some real nice artwork of Ravage up here at the top. It's got the Bumblebee movie logo there. Get some Ravage artwork on the side. Looking cool. Studio series, no number, just core class which is interesting, and then, of course, it says Bumblebee. Uh, so back of the package here, it just has him in the Ravage mode and the Cube mode, uh, Jaguar mode, I guess. So, yeah, that's really about it. Transforms in 11 steps, and that's it for this box. Let's go ahead and get him out and see what we think. So here we have Ravage out of the packaging, and he is wee, tiny, small. Uh, but he looks cool. He looks like he does in the movie for the most part. Um, I do like his accessories. He, here's kind of a close-up. Um, he's got a little Decepticon logo there. He's got this little nice spinal column going on back there looking cool. He's got the missiles on the side. He's got a lot of articulation for how tiny it is. I love these little tiny missiles. Very neat, very cool. He's got this little sensor thingy or missile launcher up here, I guess, uh, which is kind of cool. And then he also comes with this missile piece for Soundwave, which is awesome. So this will plug into Soundwave's uh, gun to give it the G1 look. Now, to store it on the Cat or Jaguar here, um, you can take it and plug it into the bottom. Uh, which is where the missile rack thingy on the back will go in uh, the cube mode. But yeah, there he is with uh, the little missile underneath. That doesn't look good at all. Um, I put this directly onto Soundwave when I got this out of the box, and that's where it is going to stay. Will not stay on a Ravage here. Now, we'll go ahead and uh, take this off really quick and take a look at the articulation on this guy. Very articulate for how tiny he is. So first off, the jaw moves up and down, so that's cool. Um, then the head does rotate up and down, uh, mainly for transformation. Uh, the legs have got a hinge joint at the top, at the shoulder, and at the knee, which is nice. And then uh, the little footsies have got uh, little hinges, so that's cool. Um, so they move up and down, and then uh, we can take a look at the back of the leg. Also has a hinge joint here, and then it's got an upper knee joint, and then it's got a lower ankle joint on the back, which is nice for crouching positions. And then the little footsies, again, have little hinges, so front and back hinges, and then the tail does go up and down a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's really about it for the articulation on this guy here. Um, again, kind of surprising how much it actually has for such a small figure. Now taking a closer look at the figure itself, uh, it's sculpted really well, looks like he did in the, the movie. I like the Decepticon logos on him, very tiny. He's got the white and the red markings. 
kind of odd for Ravage, but again, that's the way it looked in the movie. He's got his signature missiles on his back thighs. I definitely dig that. All the articulation is great. I love how you can get him into little crouching poses, little tack poses, which is a very, a very cool. And he's got that very distinct tail, which a lot of Ravage figures simply don't have. Um, the eye paint, uh, very cool. He's got some red on the face as well. And just all around looks good for the size of figure. For comparison, here we have the Studio Series Transformers Bumblebee Ravage with the Netflix uh, Special Edition Walmart uh, Laserbeak and Ravage. Uh, that are in the earth mode and as you can see he's a lot bigger he looks better than the ravage the laser beak i still love it's just one of my favorite laser beaks but uh, this studio series ravage looks so much better than the netflix earth mode ravage here and uh well it, 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 it's he's just a little bit bigger which is why it looks cooler but i do like the fact that the netflix ravage turns into a cassette tape now to transform Ravage into his little QB mode is more fidgety than anything. So we're going to take his missiles off like this. So just pull those off and then his little back piece up here at the top. Uh, this is kind of hard to get off if you don't have fingernails. Um, be careful not to launch it across the room. And then we're going to close up his mouth like that. So, and then we're going to rotate the head downward into the chest just like that. And then we're going to take this piece and we're going to put it on his underbelly where you would store the missile. So that's where that goes. And then we're going to straighten the legs out, kind of pull them back a little bit, separate. There's a hinge joint right here in the hip that you want to get loose. So you're going to pull it forward and it's going to look like that. And uh, you want to push that as far forward in as you can. And it's going to be a little bit fidgety with the legs. So just kind of move the legs around and keep going forward as far as you can with that hip joint inward like that. Once that's in all the way, you should have a nice little gap with the tail. Flip that forward and then you can push the tail all the way forward like that. So it should look something like that when you get that there. And then we're going to um, adjust the legs. So I like to move the legs forward a little bit. There's a little uh, peg piece here um, on the foot you're going to put in there. So I'm going to try to do this. It's kind of difficult. It's just so small. So here we go. That's what it should look like when you get it connected into the port. So it should be flush with the bottom. Um, and make sure the foot it goes upright. So we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to take this and we're going to put it in that tiny little port and make the foot flush. Again, it's it's kind of difficult to do, especially when you got big fat sausage fingers. But uh, yeah, when you get it uh, clicked in, um, you want to make sure to kind of connect it and then make sure your little foot is pushed upright behind the other leg and uh, that can be a little bit tricky to get in there and then make sure that they're both plugged into the ports just like that and let's see here make sure things right so yeah this is the way it should look when you get the legs um, connected up so there's that now we want to do the same with the front legs and connect it to another tiny tiny port that is super difficult to get into so um, yeah this one's really hard uh, with your big fat sausage fingers so I'm gonna get one connected and to show you what we're going for here if I can get it to focus there's this tiny little peg that you're gonna connect this tiny little hole on the inner ankle so it's not gonna be by the actual ankle but up towards the knee really so you want to push that inward and uh, get it to connect so it's gonna look like this and we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So let me spin this one around. All right, and then we're going to line it up just like the other side. So this is what it's going to look like all boxed up. The feet need to be aligned perfectly on this tiny little thing. Otherwise, it's just not going to fit right in uh, Soundwave. So uh, the next thing you want to do is take these missiles and you're going to put them on the gray part in the back and uh, you're just going to plug them um, into the ports 
and I've actually, I think I got the wrong one on here. Yep, so you want to, and I'm gonna show you why, put them in the right side because you wanna lean them forward as far as you can. So that's what it should look like, um, and you're gonna put it in that tiny little port. So I'm gonna take this other one, plug it in, and you wanna be able to lean it forward so that the kind of gun, the, the pieces, the stick out pieces are out, not inward. And uh, yeah, the key here is to make sure that the feet are lined up all the way um, to make this cube. So just kind of a close up. Um, yeah, there it is. That's what it should look like all wrapped up. Do not let the feet dangle. So, of course, Soundwave has a play gimmick with Ravage here. He goes into the chest. So, Ravage in his kind of Cybertronian block mode. Be aware of the feet on Ravage. They have to be set perfect to fit inside of this guy. Uh, the other thing is Ravage comes with uh, this missile piece that looks very much like the G1 counterpart. So, you're going to plug that into his missile launcher. I love that. It's got just a wonderful G1 homage. Very, a very cool cool there so um, yeah let's talk about getting this thing inside of Soundwave's chest it's kind of a pain in the ass I'm not going to lie about it so what you're going to do is uh, open up Soundwave's chest right here um, and then you're going to notice that there's some kind of weird spacing on Soundwave's chest that'll mess with the feet so we're going to open up the back of Soundwave's uh, panel here so you can kind of see all the way through him and then we're going to take him and lift the cannon piece up a little bit and we're going to put Ravage in missile side uh, to the left or right arm I guess and then you're going to slide him in again be careful you got to get that in just right if those feet are not exactly right on Ravage they will pop off inside so you're going to close this up I would use the button and then uh, push on the back to make sure he's all the way to the face and then you can close it but you can't close it completely there's going to be a little bit of leeway on the back of sound wave otherwise again you're going to pop the feet off inside of sound wave so be aware of that now um he looks pretty cool with ravage in there um i will give it that so you can hit the eject button and then here we have ravage inside of sound wave and to get him out you want to lift the back panel up and then you can push him forward and again be careful uh, because those feet can pop out very easily on ravage and you can lose them so just be aware of that it's it's really annoying and you've got to make sure that ravage's feet are perfectly upright in his little uh, components here so it's got to look like this all the way it's got to be flush to get into sound wave properly if it's not it's just going to pop out so be aware of that so is the Studio Series Transformers Bumblebee Ravage a uh, figure that you want in your Transformers collection? Well, if you liked the Bumblebee movie, this is something you're probably going to like. If you're a Soundwave completist, you definitely want to get this to go with your Studio Series Soundwave. They look cool together. Uh, my biggest gripe is the engineering the feet, if they are not aligned perfectly in that cube mode, will pop off instantly inside when you try to put it into the tape deck, which is a bit of a shame. Um, there should have been a little bit more clearance there, but uh, that's really the biggest gripe. It looks cool. It transforms into the cube thing that it was that we saw in the movie. And, well, it's Ravage, and he goes with Soundwave. So there it is, the Studio Series Core Class Ravage from Transformers Bumblebee. Hey guys, thanks for watching. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Be sure to click all the things, subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell for new videos. And follow me on all the social medias Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below.